gonna recognize the gentle lady from American Samoa. First, she needs to fly out, catch a flight. And then, this is Congresswoman Ready Wagon. You have five minutes, please. Aloha. Thank you, Vice Chairman Sublan and Ranking Member Gonzalez Colon, for putting together this hearing on the Medicaid cliff currently facing the U.S. territories. The Medicaid funding is provided, provided by the ACA is set to expire this calendar year, and the lack of a funding solution will be particularly harmful for American Samoa, as I know it will be for the other territories. I'd like to thank our witnesses for making the long trip to Washington to testify before the committee today. Welcome. Each of your firsthand experiences will provide Congress with an accurate assessment of the situation. ACA's first allotment of funds became available in July of 2011, long before I and many of us here were elected to Congress. Those funds were only accessible after the normal annual allotment was exhausted. <clears throat> the Medicaid and CHIP Payment and Access Commission, otherwise known as MACPAC, <clears throat> published a fact sheet for American Samoa, which has a historical table of total Medicaid spending from FY11 to FY17, taken from reported expenditures to the center, Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The average total Medicaid expenditure in American Samoa, according to MACPAC's report, is $30 million for that period. Mr. Chairman, I ask for unanimous consent to enter into the record a March 2019 MACPAC report on Medicaid and CHIP in American Samoa, a May 2019 MACPAC issue brief on territory exhaustion of federal Medicaid funds, the April 2016 GAO report on Medicaid in the U.S. territories, and a, governor, and a letter to Governor Lolo Matalasi Molina dated March 15, 2019. I do have uh, <clears throat> a couple of questions here uh, uh, for the director. The maximum FMAP is statutorily set at 83%. Now, if Congress is unable to align the territory FMAP formula to that of the states, is there a level that American Samoa, given an appropriate federal cap, would be able to sufficiently operate the Medicaid program? The answer to that question would be yes. Um, the, our major Medicaid provider is the hospital, and the hospital has the best payment method under the state plan, which is a certified public expenditure. So we don't have a real issue with the local match or the FMAP with, the, with our local hospital. It really has to do with the new services and any future planned services that we want to do outside of the hospital. Um, which is very much needed, and this includes the Department of Health. Um, I cannot uh, comment exactly on what the appropriate FMAP would be that we could give that would make it sustainable, but based on historical utilization of what we have used, it would be about 80 percent, um, minimum 80 percent for our FMAP. Um, but we can definitely do more financial analysis, study um, our history of, of, of spending and give you a more accurate FMAP. Thank you. Thank you for your response. We know the FMAP and the federal caps need to be changed because they're not equitable for the territories. FMAP aside, what is the needed amount of federal funding to fully support American Samoa's Medicaid system? Currently, we have submitted information that what we would like to request is a $30 million annual allotment um, for Medicaid. Um, this is based on, on the, the historical spending out of uh, the Medicaid spending that we have. Um, I provided a chart of expenditures, historical expenditures based on the availability of the ACA that shows that we need for the hospital alone an additional eight million for the 20 million federal share and then we would need an additional 10 million for all new services for federal share that would 
make it a 30 million federal share block grant increase for American Samoa. Thank you, Director. I have more questions that I'll be submitting for the record. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you. The gentlelady yields back. Um, 